Hi, this is Justin from Scale Model Scenery. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial video uh, this week. Um, I'm going to show you how to cut the nylon mesh that we supply with the LX007 security fencing kit. Some of you can see that, but it's very fine, but very tough uh, mesh that we use to simulate chain link fencing. Right, it's a bit tricky to cut. If you try and use scissors, you can get in the right mess uh, trying to cut it accurately. It just sort of gets a bit chewed up in the scissors. It just doesn't cut right. You can see it's a bit just not. It's just not easy to do. You can't mark on it very easily because it's it's black, so it's very hard to see your pen marks or anything. So, what we've got is a little bit of a trick. We want to cut the fence in. You've got to cut this mesh to use with the fence posts that come with the LX007 kit. So, what I found as a method is if we use a bit of uh, parcel tape or masking tape and a biro or a ballpoint pen, uh, steel ruler. And a sharp craft knife. Hopefully, it's sharp enough. Um, we'll see. I've not changed the blade in it, so who knows? Right. So what we do is we lay our piece of mesh out. Now, with the kit, you get 60 centimeters of mesh, and it's about uh, 10 centimeters wide or thereabouts, maybe 15 centimeters wide. This is just a scrap that I've got to show you how it works. So first, we lay the mesh out nice and flat. Then we get a bit of tape. Get some parcel tape and we lay that over the area of the mesh that we want to cut out. Try and get it as flat as possible without any creases or anything in the tape or in the mesh underneath. It's not too bad to do, a little bit of practice. If you don't get it right first time, you can peel it off and try again. So I've got that nice and flat now. I'm hoping this is going to work because it worked when I, did, when I did the test build. So, Biro and the uh, ruler and we're going to mark out the section of mesh that we want using the ballpoint pen. That's the top, and we're going to make it about this. The looking at the fence post, making it about a ruler's height, or the width of the ruler will be not far off what we want. So we'll just go a little bit taller than the, the width of the ruler, and we'll mark both sides. Okay, like that. So that's the section of fencing we want. Then take the knife, and I found this was easier to do freehand than it was to do. Uh, with a ruler just in case things move and if you just hold the mesh quite tightly with your left hand or right hand if you're left-handed uh, and gradually work your way down the marked lines try and stick to the lines I'm wandering off a bit there work your way down and I'll do this bit as well up here now I can show you what happens so we just work our way down there We go. Rather than me cut all that out, I'll just show you on this section here. But it's exactly the same. Just carry on with the knife all the way down. Uh, when you get to the end, trim the end off, and we trim the other end off. Mind your fingers. Hopefully that will come out now. Almost a little bit left at the end. And there we go. Right. So there's our section of tape with the fencing on the back, with the mesh on the back. And all we've got to do now which is probably easier said than done. Let's peel this off the tape. There we go. It's coming. I think. There we go. Peel the mesh off the tape. There we go. A nice neatly cut piece of uh, piece of mesh ready for the fencing. Thank you, Elizabeth. Mm. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Ever so simple. It takes just a few minutes. So all you need, parcel tape or masking tape, sharp knife, biro or ballpoint pen, and a roller and a cutting mat so don't do it on your and dining mesh. table and your mesh of course <laughs> yes um we will we'll be selling this mesh separately as well so you can use it with other kits um the ratio kit the, i mean this technique will work with the with the uh, ratio fencing uh, double o scale fencing the, the mesh that they provide with their kits is white i think um which looks okay but needs painting really to make it look realistic so we're going to start selling this mesh separately so you better replace the ratio mesh with this if you want so that's it. Thanks for watching. That's how to cut mesh. All right. Cheers.